All right, so we're gonna shrink these four door windows and we're gonna use three different styles to do that. Regular shrinking, that's what I started out tinting with because I didn't know any other methods existed. We're gonna do a double snap method and then we're gonna go over to the other side and do uh, what I usually do which is um, the single snap method. So to, in order to set this up and to even understand why we need to shrink is because film is flat, glass is curved. Um, so we need to set this up in a way that's gonna give us the most amount of film on the glass and just let us shrink it so it'll fit the window. So spray the window and then we're gonna line it up. I like to line it about an inch up off the bottom to give you a little room for the heat. And then you can put the side pretty close over, so like a half inch gap over on the side. That'll give the most amount of film on the glass. You'll still have it kind of resting over on the side. Then you're gonna grab your handled squeegee and you're basically gonna create a rainbow here. So start at the top, go down, start at the top, go down, and then you can sweep out some of this extra water here that'll help speed up the shrink. But you'll notice these are the fingers that we need to shrink, and they're actually not very big. So if you ever do this and the fingers are not very big at the bottom, part of that is you don't need to shrink the window very much, but you do need to shrink it some. So the way I like to set this up is have it set up the same, gap up off the bottom, little on the side, and tack it in the center, kind of do that same thing on one side, and then force some extra fingers to just kind of pop up, just put a little pressure inwards, and that'll cause a little extra film to bunch up in the middle, and then you can tack it down, sweep some of that water out, and now you see those bigger fingers. So that's what we need to shrink. And you're gonna grab your heat gun, turn it up to high, you're gonna hold it a few inches away. The closer you get it, the hotter it's gonna be. Um, and you don't wanna let it sit in one spot for too long. So we'll start at the top of the finger. Let me find my felt card. So I'll use one of these felt cards too uh, for shrinking. So I'm just gonna heat it up till I see some zigzags. And I'm gonna press it down. I'm gonna heat it up. Then I'm gonna press it down. You'll notice it's starting to split here. So like for the bigger ones, sometimes you'll need to split them into smaller sections. You don't want to bunch too much up at one time. But the farther down you go, the easier it's going to be to split. And then the little ones will shrink a lot faster. So we got the heat gun pretty close and you can see as soon as I touch the heat, it immediately starts to do that. So just keep working it across, heat it up, press it down, heat it up, press it down. And it's just a game of whack-a-mole until you get all those little fingers down. It doesn't take too terribly long, but it'll definitely take about a good 30 seconds to like a minute or two of this until everything's laid down. If you get it too hot, be careful of this bottom edge. You're holding the heat in one spot or for too long you'll basically begin to melt and fry this and you see some smoke coming up. Just, that's why we leave a gap off the bottom. We don't want it to get overly hot. So that looks pretty good. This should be all shrunk, ready to go. If I have any fingers that pop up on the inside, that means it just needed to be shrunk more. So I would have pressed the film a little bit more together. But you can get basically from nowhere to shrinking a door window very quickly just by using this method. Now for a more consistent shrink. We're gonna to go to this front door where the fingers are gonna be a little bit bigger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up the exact same way. Where's my spare, there it is. We're gonna set it up the exact same way as we did the back door. But you'll notice our long edge is here on the back side of that front door. So half inch from the side and about an inch up off the bottom should give us plenty of film to play with here. And we're gonna start in the top, squeegee down, same thing. Do that, and then if you wanna press in a little bit, you can. Just kick up fingers a little bit, but they at least should be pretty pronounced on the front door. Mm, not really. I don't do this method too often here. But let's try that again. <laughs> if I go to install this one, there's definitely gonna be some fingers popping up on the inside. So 
We're just going to kick that up a little bit farther, right about there. Squeegee that down. And close enough. So in order to do the double snap, uh, we're essentially going to be shrinking it like we did the back door at first. So we're going to take the heat, put it on that finger, kick it down, heat, kick it down. Work across. I'm a little bit farther down than I'd like to be on this, so I'm just gonna be careful of that seal. If it starts smoking, I don't care all that much. It's the class car. It's all for learning. Finger here, push that down. Finger here, push that down. And just keep working across until they're all basically gone. And then when we get to this point, um, I actually never learned the double, oh, excuse me. I actually never learned the double snap. From what I understand, you then pick it back up and then drop it back down. And then you press the sides down and you have the air in between here. So you're gonna re-shrink basically the area that you just shrunk. And there's a lot more sitting up off the glass now. So you can basically create a nice even shrink. So you start with the fingers, get those down, pick it back up, knock all that air, or let it float off the glass, and then you re-shrink it. So you're really just getting all those spots to even out and it'll tighten up the window a little bit more. Um, I know this is a real popular method and I can see why it's a pretty foolproof way of shrinking. It basically is gonna achieve what we're gonna do on the other side. It just takes that one extra step. You shrink it, pick it back up, Lay it down, shrink it, you're ready to go. So these should both be ready to install. Um, we're gonna go over to the other side now and do the single snap method. All right, so we're over here on the driver's side and we're gonna set this up again, same way. We're looking for the long side, leave it about a half inch from there, about an inch up off the bottom, spray it. Squeegee start at this top, go down. Now. Personally, I don't have to try and kick up any extra fingers. What I'm gonna do here with the, um, with the snap shrinking method is I'm gonna pick it up from the corner and then just give it a nice shrink and you'll see here pretty quick what's gonna go on. So I pick up the corner um, from basically the side that intersects here. Keep my knuckles against the glass because what you're gonna wanna do is when you pick it up from the window, you don't wanna just pick it up right off the glass, you wanna use tension. So now that we released it from the other side, let me just squeegee this back down real quick. It starts drying out, so wet it, sweep it back down. You always need a little bit of like water tension in there. That'll help everything um, card out nice and smooth. So pick it back up and you get about three or four inches away from where it starts to swoop up off the glass, just this area in here. And you take that heat gun, you're gonna point it right at the bottom, and you can start, and back up, you can start farther out, and you can work in. You don't have to just go full bore into it and move really fast and hope that you get it right. You can do this very gradually. Keep the heat gun farther out, and you just kind of start moving it closer to your probably about seven or eight inches away from the bottom of that window. And you just start moving that heat. Looks like it can go a little bit farther than that. And all you're doing is letting that tighten up. That's all you need to do. That should be, that should be good enough right there. So we're gonna check it, spray it. And we're gonna lay this down. Ooh, that's nice. Whenever you have this nice little pattern in it, it's perfect. So in order to check it, spray it, sweep it out, because you're basically simulating if this was inside the window and you're pressing everything out. If I have little fingers that pop up on the bottom, I'd pick it back up off the window and I'd just heat those little areas up that have the extra fingers, get that to lay down. Now, if you've over shrink it, this is what that looks like. 
So we're gonna put some extra heat on it. We're just gonna cook it, what I would say is a little bit too far. Probably a little farther than that. But it's gonna tighten. It's gonna tighten to the point that just makes it very difficult to press down. So I'm gonna check it. And again, this is simulating that you're inside the window. So when you're pressing this down, right in here, especially where I put too much heat, this is getting too tight. These lines start getting a little chaotic and you have to just put a lot more pressure to try and get it evenly. So what that means is that as you're squeegeeing this out on the inside of the window, these areas, these are gonna be real tight fingers and you might crease it or it's just gonna pop back up. You're not gonna be able to get this to lay down very easily. So moving over to the front door, that's where we're gonna to have to shrink it um, the most. Set up, exactly the same again. So you can see once you learn these, these principles here, you're gonna be able to get going really, really quickly. It should only take you about a minute to shrink all the door windows. Sweep the extra water out as much as you can. Grab your heat gun. If you want to jump to the other side. Heat gun's up. It's heating up. Grab it from the corner, knuckles against the glass, pull it away. And then if I want it to move faster, I'm going to get the heat gun closer. But you can also see I'm keeping that heat gun moving. That should be it, right there. It's perfect. If I wanna double check it, spray it underneath. See that nice curve? Beautiful. It just likes to hang up off the glass, lay right back down. That's exactly what I wanna see. Go to sweep this out. If I had any extra fingers, okay. I have like a couple teeny tiny baby ones that would probably stick to the inside. Pick up the film just in that area, heat it up a little bit, and then they're gone. That's it, done. And that's it. That's how you snap shrink a window. Now, it's easier if you get the concepts first, so I suggest setting it up, shrinking the fingers, kind of getting a feel for what it should even look like, because um, I didn't know this method existed until I was like seven years into shrinking. It still took me a little bit of time to understand, but at that point I knew what a shrunk window was gonna be like. So it might take you a little bit to work up to this. Don't be surprised. Don't just go in at full bore, go really fast. Take your time with shrinking. It's one of those things that as you put more heat towards it, it'll shrink more and more. You can go really fast by putting it close. You can hang back and just take your time, get, e get used to what to look for first, and then you'll be able to work into speed and that'll get e within a couple days, honestly. You'll have no problem. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll see you in the next one.